We're back with another 2021 player outlook. This time we're talking Justin Jefferson, wide receiver, Minnesota Vikings. And we thank you guys for, for joining us on this journey. We would appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, hit that notification icon, stay up to date with our live streams, player drops, any player outlooks. Let's get to it. So 14 guys looked into Justin Jefferson. We think he's going to finish somewhere between wide receiver 10 and 15 overall this year. Uh, five are buying, six are holding, three are selling. And we think his ADP is going to be lower in a year than where it is currently which is interesting. I want to know, do you think he's getting drafted too high? Do you think his ADP is going to be lower next season? Let me know in the comments. Um, definitely a weekly starter in 2021. Uh, we saw him firmly take the, the reins of weekly starter last year as the season went on, and we're feeling good about that uh, going, on, going forward. Now, if you're looking for redraft ADP, you know, like our friends at Fantasy Pros do, wide receiver seven or, wide, or 22 overall, if you're looking for some super flex ADP, he's wide receiver one at Roto Heat super flex ADP and 13 overall. So this guy's firmly in the core piece, elite prospect, you know, elite fantasy piece of your roster. It's easy. He's a really interesting, interesting case because in that wide receiver class last year, it was very talented. You know, think of the Judy's and the Lambs of the world. This guy's ahead of them all right now, which is interesting to think about. Uh, the issue that some of the guys on the team are having is the quarterback situation there. You know, Kirk Cousins, um, he doesn't really excite guys long term, but Jefferson dominated. You know, uh, this really shouldn't you shouldn't see much of a difference this year, quite honestly. If you're if you're looking at another year in the system with the team that's around him, they've they've made some additions and changes on both sides of the ball. Uh, I have no doubt this guy's going to get a hundred, you know, 115, 120 plus targets again this year. There's enough to go around in this offense to help, you know, feed Thielen, feed Jefferson. Irv Smith should be able to get in the conversation. You know, there are pieces that have moved on for sure, but the, those should be the top, you know, the top three type targets in this offense. You know, Dalvin Cook obviously is going to be in there in the mix as well. Uh, but those four players really should be involved in all facets of the passing game. And I wouldn't be concerned about it in the least. Um Jefferson blew away expectations last year. Now, folks loved the prospect and loved the player, but they weren't expecting what they got, which was 1,400 yards and seven touchdowns. I mean, that's just that was just far exceeding expectations. Um, he may come back, you know, and he may come back down to earth a little bit this year. You know, some of the guys on the team don't want you to get uh, get your hopes up that he's going to keep going higher and higher. Uh, but this team, you know, is still rebuilding and, and retooling. A lot of teams use that word nowadays. So they could be behind and having to throw the ball. So that could play into Jefferson's, you know, wheelhouse and get him those those garbage time type type targets as well. They're, they're a team that's kind of middle of the pack. So there'll be some games where they're ahead. There'll be some games where they're trying to climb out of the basement. So let me know in the comments below what you think about Justin Jefferson. Like I asked earlier about his ADP and what have you. I want to know where you're where you're at with him and what you're doing. Thank you guys as always for hanging out with us. We love you guys. Watch the rest of the videos in the playlist below, and we'll talk to you again soon.